to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me. Ooh, what a spot. What a spot I got this morning. If you've been watching videos of mine previously, uh, you may have seen this spot before. I, I briefly kind of did something on it a couple months back and didn't really do it justice really because I think it's a, it's quite an epic little little place. Uh, I took a, a photograph or two here but I didn't really focus on the area. Today I'm decided to come back here. Uh, this is uh, just south of Taupo on the lake, the Great Lake Taupo. And as you can see behind me here I've got this beautiful, beautiful uh, tree which it's kind of reminiscent of, of the Wanaka tree which is in the South Island. Um, I guess the main difference about this tree here is that there's nobody here taking photographs. If you go to Wanaka in the South Island you kind of have to queue for about an hour to take a picture of the tree. Uh, here uh, this is a, a far more subdued scene. This whole episode really is on Pan F50 which is uh, from Ilford Film. Uh, I've been shooting a roll or two of it over the last couple of days. Uh, a few people have asked me to shoot it, a few people have asked um, for my thoughts on it. Uh, so I'm just playing around with a, a roll or two, uh, and today is really uh, just a continuation of that. Uh, what am I shooting today? My Hasselblad. I'm, I'm continuing with the journey with that camera. Um, a little confession to make. I mentioned in one of my previous videos not so long ago that I was going to stick to the 150, which um, I asked people about lenses and I kind of said to people I'm going to be just, just, just hanging out with this 150 lens, but anyway I've kind of digressed from that, I've kind of sinned a little bit, I've actually bought a 50mm and I bought the 50mm with me today. So um, just looking forward to just, just, just chilling out here this morning and, and just uh, me and Babe come for a walk based down here. And um, we're just we're just going to chill out. We're just going to take some pictures. We're going to play around with some long exposure photography. I'm going to shoot that 50 mm lens. I'm going to probably shoot the the, the, the 150 as well. Going to play around with both lenses. Um, so please just put your feet up for probably another 10 or 15 minutes. Just chill out with me while I take some photographs, and then I'm going to go back. I'm going to develop the film today, and I'm going to show you the result. And also maybe talk about some other pictures I've taken with this Pan F50 and uh, we'll just I'll, I'll just give you my opinions of the film and we can kind of summarize okay let's get into it let's get into what we're here for we're just taking photographs
hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Uh, I was kind of pleased with my results from that that one roll of film that I shot there in front of that beautiful tree, uh, which is uh, Wadi Toko, just south of Taupo. Just a quick apology, you may or may not have noticed, but uh, lack of B-roll in that in that in that section that you've just seen. Uh, unfortunately, my trusty little Canon 200D, which really is the unsung hero of my vlog, really, because uh, pretty much 80% of the content that is shown on this channel comes from this little beast, and unfortunately I dropped it in the water while I was filming. I was about two-thirds of the way through filming the vlog, and this fell off the tripod. It didn't fall off the top of my tripod. I didn't put it back on my tripod properly, and it fell off along with my Rode mic that I'm using now. And um, you know, um, the good news is, however, that this has survived. It literally got submerged in water. The uh, 18 to 55 lens that was on it basically is dead. But the camera, uh, I think I've saved it. I managed to save it. So I just want to just kind of like tip my hat to Canon. I don't talk a lot about Canon uh, uh, on this vlog, um, but just tip my hat to them because this is a monster of a camera. It's a fantastic camera. This is the 200D Mark II, and uh, just impressed that it's still alive and kicking, and hopefully I'll be able to use it for a little bit longer before I kill it again. So that's the reason for the lack of uh, B-roll from that episode. All in all, very pleased with my, 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 my compositions uh, in both the 50mm and the 150mm lens. Uh, all of the shots you saw on the 150 were all standard exposures really, 130th of a second, uh, about f8 I think. Um, I'm notoriously bad for detailing what I do with, with, with my photography. Um, I think about 90% of the images that were taken with the uh, with the 50mm uh, were all long exposures. I, took a, uh, I think I took one standard exposure which was the shot of the tree stump and the swan in the background and that beautiful tree as well. Uh, that was 135th of a second f8. Um, everything was developed in Rodnell, uh, 1 plus 50 I think it was, I think I used 1 plus 50 on, on, on that roll. I haven't got a huge amount to say about the film but like all Ilford films I've never dissatisfied what I get in the, at the end of the day and uh, Panic Plus 50 is, is no exception, uh, very happy with what I've got from this role in particular. Uh, I've shot previously to this role two other roles and I'll just put some pictures up now um, but yeah generally you have been happy. A lot of people have said to me that you know they can't get their you know that they just can't get their head around this film and shooting it. What I have found is that with some of the shots I took initially with this uh, getting exposure just right was not the easiest you know you've got to be spot on with your exposure but having said that um, I guess you know some of the early shots I took this way I, I took I took it in the forest and I was taking some shots of, of some leaves you know some foliage and stuff like that but I did notice that there was like um, if, you, if I didn't get my exposure just spot on that um, that I was kind of lacking a wee bit um, with dynamic range and you know um, getting you know not a lot of my mid-tones showing. Uh, however, with the tree shoot and the, the lake shoot, the one that you've just seen, I found that um, I, maybe because the light was pretty pretty mid mid-range light, um, I was pleased with you know I got a nice coverage of, of my of my you know mid-tones, my blacks and my and my whites. I think it was a nice even balance there, and that would probably have something to do with the actual lighting on the day. Yeah, you've got to get it just right to get the best out of it. I've seen some beautiful portraiture shots with this with this film, so I think from a perspective, if you if you can get your light right, you can you can um, keep your light constant. Maybe you know obviously in a studio setting, I think it would be a fantastic film. I'll definitely be using it again. I, um, you know, very tempted to to use it for my landscape photography, in particular for long exposure photography. Um, um, I think it's going to be a toss up between this and Delta for me. So um, yeah, happy. Like I said in the video, I just bought a 50 mil. Uh, very happy with that 50 mil. Even more happier with the 150, and I'm really enjoying really really enjoying shooting landscapes that 150 it's given me another dimension and i just can't wait 
to get my hands onto a filter adjuster for that lens so I can put some ND filters on there and start um, you know, doing some long exposures with that lens. Um, should be very cool and I'm looking forward to that. So that's a wrap, that's it. Um, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen for this episode. Have, hope it's shone a bit more light on, um, on Panif and uh, hope you've enjoyed my pictures. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, I'd appreciate it. Hit the subscribe link below and uh, subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell. Uh, I'd appreciate that as well and you get notified of my uh, content as it comes available. You also might want to go and check me out on Instagram. Uh, go and check out my Instagram feed. Uh, I'll put a link below for that. If you'd like to support my channel, uh, you can do so by buying my book Style and Moments. There's a link up here or a link below for that. Um, there's also a limited edition print pack available from Style and Moments, uh, which is selling out quick. Uh, that's also available from the links up here and below. Um, I don't have sponsors on this channel, so if you want to support my channel and you've enjoyed what you've seen today, that's the best way of doing it. Um, that's it for this week. That's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until we see each other again next time, Harira from New Zealand, goodbye. Thank you.